Yeah. We're on holidays again, Kev. Yep. Book it spade in the back. Okay. Just be quick at. What um fan have you got for us today? Uh, we've got a lovely Eldis. It's uh, it's a Marquis bubble, so it's a Majestic, which is a dealer special. Right. What so type of berth is it? It's only a two berth. Right. But it's if you were gonna have a two berth, this is the one to have. It's massive. Right. It's got a bathroom to dive off. And I could live in the wardrobe. <laughs> so, if your wife's got a wardrobe fetish, this is the van for her. <laughs> so you're going to spend a load of money on a wardrobe? Well, that's the first thing my wife looks at when she looks at wardrobe, the size of the wardrobe. What so, do you look for when you, when you buy a motorhome? Uh, make, model, uh, mileage, weather, you know, everything except wardrobes. It's, it's like a woman thing, isn't it? You know? What else does she look for? Uh, well, if it's clean, really. Okay. Clean. They like, they like them to be clean. They like them to look nice. Perhaps a nice colour. <laughs> they might have nice wheels as well. <laughs> well, think about wheels. Yeah. Well, anything that's a woman thing, really. Yeah, they look at things different than our wheel look at don't they? Yeah. To be honest. Right, we'll part this van up and um, we've got to show you this Aldis. Well, should we spin it round? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we have an Aldi's Majestic 175. Um, it's a dealer special, I think by Marky. So it is an Aldi's AutoQuest 175. This one's done, two th it's a 2016. It's done just under 12,000 miles and it's just a tad over seven meters. Now it's a two berth um, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you inside cause you're gonna really like this van. So we'll just go around. What we do have, if I can get that, we have storage, so we're going to assume there's a bench seat there, and then we have our leisure battery with the hookup, and then we have the vents for the fridge, so we know it's going to be a full-size fridge. Also, we've got the awning as well, um, and then I'll just move to the front here as well. We've got the different colour cab, not the white cab, so that's just breaking it up really well. Um, awning light, and then a good size. Let's open these up um, for two six kilogram uh, gas bottles, so good size there. So, making way around the back, we have reversing camera, that's about it really. And then at the back here, we have the cassette toilet, so we're going to assume that the toilet's at the back of the van. Um, then we do have the smoky type windows as well, fresh water. I've just noticed there, we do have a wastewater drain and there also is the fresh water drain off. So, flew for the heating and hot water, but we'll find that out when we get inside. Let's go and have a look at the cab. Okay, let's have a look inside this cab. So, it's based on the Peugeot Boxer, um, six-speed manual. As I said before, it's still actually 11,200 miles. It's a 2.2-litre diesel, so it is a chain, not a cam belt. Uh, it's one owner from you. It's 3,500 kilograms in weight, so you will not need a C1 licence, just a normal licence will drive it. And the payload is 652 um, kilograms. Um, so, what we have, we've got the blinds for the front and then we do have the blinds for the driver side also the passenger side as well oh put that back in again um six speed manual steering wheel um windscreen wipers indicators we've got cruise control as well and it's got a horn reversing camera I um, showed you the camera at the back, there's the screen for it, and then we do have the media pack, um, radio, oh it's got sat nav on as well by the looks of it, and then we can also hook the phone up, and then we do have our heating system here for the cab, and it does also have air conditioning on, so pretty standard um, on the Persia Boxer. Um, let's crack on and let's go inside the van. Right, so both seats do swivel around. I'll turn that one round as well so you can get to see. Um, and what we're getting, I'm getting a sense of lightness in the van. Um, just look at the woodwork. It's nice and light. Um, and we do have the overhead uh, lights as well. Um, upholstery as well is light. Everything feels light, basically. Yeah, I'm liking it. We've got the curtains as well that go around. 
And have you seen the size of these bench seats? They're huge. Look at the size. So why would he? I said it was a two berth. We might as well make up the bed so it gives you an idea. So we pull that one out and then we pull this one out. We slide these across, slide across. And there we've got a good size bed there, really good size. But also I do like as well, um, the two, the two seats at the end as well, they don't slide out to make the bed. And you can actually sit down as well. So, so you sleep with ways anyway, but you could use them as two good size singles. Right, so Kevin's beat me to it. We can use them for singles as well, so we could have that pulled out there and we've got a good size single as well. So I'll just pull that back in. Pull that back in. That's a foot to make up as well. So you have got two good size singles there as well, as well as a double. And you saw there, it was quite an easy to make up. Um, liking the lockers, so we've got yeah, good size lockers there as well. And then another thing I've not, known, uh, not told you as well, we have the skylight above the cab as well, letting light in. And then we do have, we'll open that up, it's a bit, a bit warm today. We do have the skylight here as well. Are we ready for this? Blinds. Ooh. Fly screens, blinds. You should have checked the catch. I know, I know. Um, and then also we've got the, the windows as well, which again, fly screen, blind, and then your standard caravan style um, fit. I'll show you that actually. We open that up, we can turn. And there we go, there's the window. Don't just pull them back down again, undo them and just ease them back down. So, what else have we got? We might as well have a nose of what we've got underneath here. Let's lift this up for you. Well, let's lift up separately. No, it won't. So, if you can see underneath there, we've got a bit of storage. There's our whale system. Um, and there's the blown air system there. And let's move over to this side as well. I like the idea of the car going up as well, so I think it's slightly out. Yeah, that's not bad either. You've got the cargo net, like um, he says. So we've got the leisure battery housing there. Um, we've got the hook up in. Um, good storage again underneath. And then we'll just have a look, see what we've got underneath here. Ooh, does that not lift up? Yep. Let's have a look. You can access it from one or the other. No, no. no. Screwed down. That's screwed down that is, um, because what you've got underneath there, you've got your water pump yeah. and then also your um, pipe for your fresh water fill and a couple of cut-offs. Stop things getting knocked and fittings getting knocked off the pipes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So obviously if we do need to work on them, then we'll, we'll have to unscrew them. So not a bad shout there, Kev. It does stop things getting knocked and stops you from putting things next to, next to your pump and everything. And then same again. Let's have a look. There we go, that's our consumer unit with the 230 and also your 12 volts. So we're halfway down to the back of the van, we're into the kitchen area. Um, they've got the down spotlights and then the, um, the cupboards have changed here, they've gone from the brown and now they've come to a bit of a stylish one now, haven't they? With little silvery things. Silver birch. Silver birch, is that what you're going for, Kev? We'll call it silver birch. Silver birch, um, good size there. And then below that, then we've got the window where, let's have a look how big this is. Oh, that's a good size sink. Nice with black sink, isn't it? Different. It's a different colour, yeah, the black sink. Yeah, you're right there. I actually prefer the black sink to yeah. the aluminium type sinks yeah. as well. And then this is different as well. We've got the three burner hob with the hot plate. Normally the hot plate's up that end. Um, so I, neither here or there though, to be honest. And then below that we do have Grill, oven, a bit of storage underneath, and the next. Oh, let me put that back in. Oh, the door, there. there we go. And then again, plenty of storage there as well. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. 
So we've got four drawers, then a little latch below at the bottom. Um, for a two there's a lot of storage here, to be honest. We've got another area. Obviously, that's probably going to be where your telly is. Underneath there, again, more storage as well. But with it being seven metres um, as well, so you're going to get that. I did miss that as well. That's where our freestanding table is. And then we'll move to the other side. Oh, just above that, we do have the extractor fan. So for air in and out. And then we've got, again, storage. Nicely done with the microwave end. I do like that, it's nicely done. And a good size fridge freezer. Take a look at that, look at that freezer as well. Yeah. That's a good size. Even got a shelf in the freezer. <laughs> really good size. Now what's setting this van off more than anything is the bathroom. The bathroom really does, it, 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 I can't, I'm just gonna have to show you. It really does make a difference, this bathroom does. And I do like when the bathrooms are at the back because it's a nice good area for getting changed and everything else, so it's not intrusive as well. So let's go inside and have a look at this bathroom. So we, we've got the bathroom, we have the um, separate shower. That's a good size separate shower. Let me get inside. Look at that. Plenty. <laughs> Star Trek, isn't it? And then we do have the cassette toilet. Again, we've got more storage again. So we've got a good area here. And then also we've got the sink with the mirror. Now, that, hasn't, that isn't it yet. It isn't it, but look at this. Are you ready for this? My spare bedroom. <laughs> it's Kev's spare bedroom. Look at the size of that wardrobe. That's stunning. It's a double wardrobe. That's brilliant. Never seen a wardrobe. That's a good size. And then above that, we do have the skylight with the fly screen. I've done it to get onto blind and fly screen. But this is a cracking, cracking bathroom. Really good bathroom, it is. Uh, and this van. Me personally, is something you could go on the road for a few weeks at a time, a month at a time, because you've got that much storage. You've got that wardrobe, you've got that separate shower, you've got the toilet and the big fridge freezer as well. So, um, don't forget the microwave as well. So you could go on the road for a while in this and the great lounge area. So let's move back down to the front. So just before I move to the front, we do have the control panel. Um, quite straightforward, we've got the master switch, the lights to pump the awning. And then here we have the whale system, which is the water and also the heating system, and that'll be working on gas and electric. Right, so let's move through these stats again. So don't forget, it's an Aldis Majestic 175, 2016 2.2 .2 litre diesel, based on the Persia Boxer, six speed manual, three and a half thousand kilograms with a 652 kilogram payload. Um, one owner from you, seven meters in length, 7.02 actually, 2.82 high, 2.2 in width. Uh, electric step, it's got um, TV aerial, we've got awning, awning light, reversing camera, aircon in the cab, and then the heating system's a blown air system with gas and electric, hot water, gas and electric as well, power steering, cruise control, blinds, fly screens, freestanding table, mixer top, separate roof light, and there you have it. So there it is. The Aldi Majestic 175, I'm liking this fan. It's really light, it really makes it light and airy. Massive bathroom, just what you need. Adequate um, kitchen area. These long bench seats for lounging on, which again, you can make as a single or make as a double. And then we've got the swivel seats here, which is just adding more and more to the van. So I'll just show you this. So if you can see, I'm now sitting on that swivel seat and look how big this van is. And then don't forget all the storage we've got as well. So last thing that you want to know, I'm saying price at the moment, not a lot about. So it's going to be, depending on age, condition, mileage, anywhere between 44 to 48,000 pounds. So if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to us, hit the like button. And shall we go find another motor? Come on then.